everybody. <clears throat> Gonna give you guys a review for Love Hip Hop at New York. <laughs> Season 8, episode 11 called Single No Mingle. I'm multitasking here. I got me some, some glue vial. I'm gonna put some uh, Amaretto in the cup. And I don't know if y'all can see the steam coming off of it, but hot. <clears throat> that's how you that's how y'all drink that's how you supposed to drink glue vine, you know, especially when it's cold outside, even though it is really not cold outside. Weirdly enough, it's actually put that top on. <clears throat> we actually had a very warm <laughs> new year to say the least. So <clears throat> before we get started, question of the day. What did you all do for New Year's? Me went to a colleague's house. Thanks <clears throat> for uh, him and uh, his family. So uh, <clears throat> I uh, baked chicken parts because I couldn't find the whole chicken. So just some thighs, wings, and uh, drumsticks. Some onion roasted potatoes, some dressing, some beans. For the children, uh, did some uh, mustard and chicken fingers. Cause I'm pretty sure those of y'all who have kids, especially for like parties and whatnot, it's kind of hard to get them to sit down and eat like food, food. So, crazy thing is, the adults put more of a hurting on that <clears throat> than anything. Uh, trying to see, was there another dish that I made? No, but I also made um, some sweet bread called challah. So. <clears throat> I still have a whole loaf left. Gonna kind of let you guys see that. I, I, I know y'all. I know y'all sees it. This muffin. It got some weight on it. It is a dessert bread. <clears throat> the kind of way I make mine. It's fucking delicious. And if y'all didn't know, yes, you your boy can fucking bake and cook over here. Gosh darn it! Now I'm dropping shit. Need to get that out the way so I can go ahead and give y'all this review. So. Oh, that's so good. It just touches you all on the inside and stuff. It's delicious. And this is a great blue vine, too, but that's not why we're here. <clears throat> so, damn. I just need to make sure that, actually, nope, see. I was about to go give y'all the review halfway through because shit flipped the turn of my face. So, <clears throat> we have Jonathan at Anais' house. So, Jonathan rehashes his situation with Trent. We're not going to revisit that. In walks Ruben, <clears throat> and Anais quickly says to him, excuse yourself, so you can see that shit has really gotten bad between these two. Well, it was already bad, but you can, like, truly see it, if you weren't able to before. And, <clears throat> you know, her whole thing is everything is about paying bills. Ruben wants to be tended to when he gets home, and even Jonathan said, like, there was a time where he would come in you would kick me out you would sit next to him throw your feet on his lap you know all this other stuff and i think that's because <clears throat> giving their relationship and hopefully i remember to come back to it she was younger when you know they got together of course he's already older and maybe just maybe this was her way of securing the bag so of course hey i gotta sit here and do what i gotta do and his whole thing is you know oh snap i, mean, I gotta Raises oh sugar. Alright, so my, my studio's coming apart. Hold on. There we go. Better. <laughs> but he was like, you have to understand things are different when you have kids. And I think what he was alluding to is <clears throat> you know, we're older now. We do have kids, so yes, things have to be different. Mind you. No, you don't put your life on hold per se for the kids, but you have to understand you do have kids to raise. But we found out later that they have a nanny, so I don't know. But he is older, so of course he has an older way, like he has an older mentality that she doesn't have. Just saying. <clears throat> and he gets up and leaves, and she's like, Yes, excuse yourself. And she says that she found someone that can tickle. Her pickle. Now, a lot of people have been talking about whether or not she's transgender or not. I don't know. I'm just going to say that probably wasn't the best reference to go with. But she has a lot of fucking comedic puns. So, I'll just give her that. So, we got Yanny and Lil Mo. They rehashed the cheating shit with Mo and her dude. 
and Yandy invites her to assist with the hurricane relief cause that she has going on. Um, <clears throat> Jaquay Safari, uh, Snoop, and Sil meet up. Sil asks the guys, you know, have y'all made each other seen as how y'all have the same female in common? They laugh the shit out like, it's Sophia, whatever, who cares? Don't care. <clears throat> and Sil asks Safari, how are you and Dream doing? And he's like, it's getting, you know, hard, you know, especially because she posted on her IG, which we keep trying to tell y'all social media. <laughs> it's the devil. It's going to sit here and fuck up y'all relationships and shit <clears throat> and whatnot, but we ain't here to talk about that. But uh, apparently, I guess it's National Boyfriend Day. I'm so, I don't know, whatever. And she posted another dude. And, you know, he feels the kind of way he feels used. Now, Snoop says to the guys, hey, I have a, uh, like, I have a, a sneaker deal somebody you know wanted me to do something with them so I'm having a reveal I want you guys to come but I want you and you meaning Jaquay and Snoop Jaquay and Safari I want you all to perform which my whole thing is this <clears throat> for the sake of this show I don't know if she paid them but if she didn't hey she got two free she got actually three free, free performances but I think I'm pretty sure they probably got paid I would like to think if not then they probably did it for the exposure so so we got Anais and Ruben. He's standing in the driveway waiting on her. And she asks, you know, what are you my housekeeper or something like that? And he pretty and he pretty much says, I married you, not the nanny. You know, further implying that they do have a nanny and pretty much just stating it was just I guess he's trying to say that when he comes home he sees the nanny more than he sees her but she says well hell I don't see you all that much anyway so and I guess they only see each other in passing it becomes an issue he even asked her he's like it looks like you've been out all day she's like well I'm going back out again I don't know if he said if she was drinking or not but he pretty much told her that if you don't give me the keys and stay then I'm filing for divorce she goes the fuck off and then she gets in the car and peels off so, there's that. I almost did four pages again, but I'm trying to give y'all a thorough review, people. Thorough. And I'm almost out of glue vine. <clears throat> That's okay. Self and Mariah meet up. Now, Mariah brings up the whole dream thing, more or less stating that she has something to say about you sending her to help with my flop career. And he says... I don't talk I would never talk to another artist about another artist now self come on bro either either you have amnesia than a motherfucker or I don't know what it is but you and again I really do wish that Mona will pull the households up whatever the fucking season and play the shit back because you you for real did do that shit homie and it's kind of it's it's real fucked up and you know self uh says the big issue is that she went at dream first and he's blaming the entire thing on Mariah where she's trying to say I did nothing but defend myself and she was coming at me and it seems like you're defending her and not me which it does seem very one sided now on one hand yes I can understand where he's coming from where <clears throat> you are a repeat offender so if something happens yeah more often than not you're going to lean towards okay well you've done it in the past so you're still doing it but i think the reason that he let mariah get away with it most of the time is mariah was his cash cow she is not his cash cow oh wait <clears throat> mariah lynn used to be his cash cow so it seems that now that he has somebody who already has a name and he can sit here and milk it seems that yeah he's going to put all his eggs into this fucking basket and his business practices are no different than how he treated fucking what's that girl name cardi b absolutely no fucking different and she pretty much says to him next time you don't have my back is done and what really got me is that mariah Lynn, like she genuinely was hurt and upset and she was crying and it wasn't like she was crying crying but she was crying she was trying to you know like you know be, be hard and but I, I really felt bad for her i really fucking did we got Jaque, Rich, and Navarro. Now, Navarro tells Rich about uh, Ashley being hormonal, or more or less, Rich tells us they already had that conversation. So, there's that. Rich um, wants Jaque to work with Anais, and he kind of really quickly spins Jaque up on his back. So, he actually did spin that shit up real fucking fast. Navarro wants Rich to represent Anais at her um, 
I guess sing like her meeting greet because he's pretty much going to be attending to Ashley because she is pregnant. And walks out at ease and she pulls Rich to the side and tells him about Ruben pretty much wanting a divorce and pretty much telling him like, yeah, I'm about to fucking be homeless. So I need to know like, is you down? Are you gonna support me? This, that, and the third. Uh, that's pretty much that. So Safari and Dream, they sit down. He talks wants to talk to her but rather than have to do it the conventional way he has flashcards which I think this was so far away of going back to being his goofy self that we saw on Hollywood so one of the questions in particular says do you believe we have a future together she's like what well, I can ask you the same thing because she said I don't know so she picked up the car and she shows it to him and he says I believe we do and then he asked about the whole national boyfriend day thing <clears throat> and she was like well I'm trying to see she was like, um, hmm. when you lacking, I do be talking to other people. So what you think is going to happen? And right there, I would like, for, of course, this is for the show. But that also clearly states that I don't think that they necessarily defined where their relationship was. And he just took it from the point where she helped me through a hard time. So we obviously got to be something. But right there, that was like, once she said that shit, it should have been over. Just like, oh, well, fuck you, fuck this, fuck the horse you would have been here on. You know, like, it, it would have been that, no more to be said. <clears throat> and then she brings up Mariah talking about something, she said that she was going to take you for me, this, that, and the third. And she tells him that you're not going to work with her. And then I forgot how we got there, but then she breaks it off with him, so... I was fucking confused, <clears throat> but whatever. Because obviously you need him for the come up. Obviously, but I only got a swig left. Okay, let me let me let me hurry up now. Let me hurry up. <clears throat> Juju and Yandy. Juju is auditioning Yandy and while Safari. So and he overhears them talking about her being single. They go through a reading. Yandy leaves. He shares with her how when he broke up with Nikki, they were together for 12 years and it took some time. He was single for at least a good two years, but he had to find a way to kind of get his mind off of it. And he wants to help her. She's like, look, I am single, no mingle. And he's like, all right, cool, but you know, I just kind of want to help you through some things. So now we have uh, Snoop's sneaker release. Now, Jaquay performs. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It reminded me so much of when designer performed on BET Awards. Like, it's almost like they were channeling the same motherfucking spirit. But I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I ain't hit hate. <clears throat> Safari gets up there with his fur. And Safari is just literally just finna spit. He ain't finna see him do all that motherfucking jumping around. He, I, I think he's too grown for that. Mariah Glenn gets up there. And now look. I have patiently waited for, for its rocks. To do her review because I just want to hear her like because I'm pretty sure she's going to sit down. She's going to write out Mariah Lynn's rap and perform that shit. I cannot fucking wait. I'm not going to do it because I honestly thought the song, I really thought the song was garbage. The only song I've liked for Mariah Lynn is Once Upon a Time Not Long Ago. I was a hope. Money Gun was cute but other than that, mm, no. But whatever. <clears throat> So, so after the performance, Mariah Lynn is talking to Safari. Now we got Bree Jaquay and Snoop talking. Bree sees that Mariah, yeah, Mariah Lynn is talking to Safari, so she feels kind of way. So she gets up and walks over there. And I hope Snoop honed in on that because it's just like, and I know we gonna get there. Now Mariah Lynn asks him, "Is he serious about working with her?" And he says, well, I heard about what happened between you and Dream Doll, but, you know, yeah, I am. And that was his way of saying, like, I'm hearing about you in the streets, which is not a good look, which is, and that's what he was trying to say, but he said he's still going to work with her. Bree walks over. He tries to introduce her to her. She was like, Dream don't fuck with her. I don't fuck with her, which I think that's very elementary, but she has every right to feel that way. But I don't feel that like that was like the right way to go about it, me personally. <clears throat> and Mariah's like, we don't uh, quarrel with childish, dusty bitches. Bree is like, Dusty, you're pushing 30 and you weigh 30 pounds. 
Mariah Lynn says, you look like a fucking Oompa Loompa. Now, it appeared to me that Mariah Lynn was going for a drink, but Brie was swifter and grabbed a drink and launched it at her. So Fari leaped the fuck back, protecting his fur, and then he hurried up and got the fuck out the way before that drink got thrown. Safari was was about protecting his fur. He was he wasn't trying to deal with these motherfucking hairs. He was trying to protect his fur. All right. So Mariah apologized to Schnoo, but it looks like this is another strike for Mariah. And I say that because of course Schnoo is one of the guys, and she hears self talk about Mariah Lynn so much, so she already has a preconceived notion about her. So in her mind, she probably feels that Mariah Lynn started. Side note, <clears throat> Safari through some hella shaded dream not saying she could have been in a VIP watching me perform. One saying that she could have been in a better spot, but two, but she ain't performed though. But Mariah Lynn did. Catch that. And final scene, Anais uh, music release, Jonathan um you know shares his input with rich now he does say that you know well i'm one to talk but you know um because he's still legally making you love but our situations are different in essence it is <clears throat> but still bro it's one of those ways it's like if your ass still married you you really don't have a reason to talk but i do understand the difference where she is still married no separation papers nothing no papers have been filed now, Rich goes off. Now, we do see him talking to another female writing something down. He might have been, you know, getting a girl number. I don't know. We don't know. The only thing is, she, old girl might not have been mic'd up, but he was. And I really do feel that it, either A, production could have, or B, production does have that audio footage. And it's probably going to say for the reunion. We don't know. But... Jonathan peeps it, but as a as a good friend, he don't say nothing to her. And walks Ruben. Ruben, you know, is just like, oh, okay, you know, where's Navarro? Do you do you do you work for Navarro? And it cuts off there. So it's gonna pick up next week. And shit's about to get good. And it looks like uh Anais, her face is about to get cracked. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So this is my review for Love Hip Hop New York. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, happy new year. Uh, don't forget to answer the question of the day down in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys for Love of Hip Hop Miami. So I'm about to go watch that now. Peace.